Welcome guys, thank you for waiting around. Uh, welcome to the weekly Raptorium update stream uh, on the 23rd of July 2023. Um, here we have Alejandro, who's the head of Spanish marketing. We have Charlie, who's co-founder co of Raptorium. We have the Shermanator, who's the head of the Discord moderation. And we have Fabrice Crew, also known as the Baguette Nibbler, who is head of uh, French marketing. So uh, welcome guys. How are you all? Doing well yourself? Amazing. <laughs> Amazingly good. Being good. with you guys. It's uh, very unusual to see you up at this time, Mr. Baguette. Uh, how do we have this yeah, honor? Yeah, I know. Um, I guess uh, my intake of food and uh, sun and uh, Spanish sun and whatever is making me stronger, I guess. <laughs> Should I say? <laughs> Okay. Making me last until this time of the day. Finally, kids are put to sleep. Mrs. is just bring me a, a new beer for me for beginning the stream. And here we go, guys. Awesome. Okay. Uh, let's get started, I suppose. Uh, Charlie, how are how is things going on with the uh, the DevNet? and uh, the assets code. Uh, DevNet's pretty close right now. I'm uh, just trying to work out, a, I think, an issue with the miner. Just waiting for Tree to have a look at that. I would expect that we'll have a DevNet ready in the next couple of days. Uh, once it's ready to rock, I'll, uh, I'll put out maybe a little guide on the blog on how people can join it and play around with assets. So uh, we're very close. And once it's on DevNet and we get it tested, it's uh, next steps, obviously, testnet. So looking forward to that fantastic um as many of you seen on the last stream that we did uh crypto smiths made a few sets of coasters we do have one of those sets up for auction which ends 15 minutes into the crypto smith stream which is like in the auction will end in like 45 minutes time so if you do want to grab some raptorium branded coasters uh, they are made in veg tan leather with antiquing gel uh, to really bring out the uh, the embossing on the on the leather, uh, three of them are for cold drinks, and one of them is for hot drinks such as tea. Uh, the the others are marked not for tea, so uh, yeah. So that's what's yeah, obvi on, on obviously the... as an, an English person, you you brought it already. <laughs> I've I've put a bid on it. I mean, I wouldn't mind some <laughs> coasters, but you know, there's that many people on the server. I most likely I'm outbid by. Now, let's have a look. Toys outbid me is at 8,069 RTM. So, yeah, I might put a little sneaky bid in near the end, but uh, we'll <laughs> see about that. <laughs> I mean, I paid more than that for, for my uh, for my key tag. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, and that was uh, key tag number three. So they are going very cheap considering you get four coasters. So it is tempting. So if anyone wants to, wants to grab some nice uh, RTM branded coasters, then... Head over to the uh, bidding, no chatting allowed channel. If you if you do chat in there, Sherm will just delete it. You just get rather angry about that. <laughs> um, Charlie, uh, how's Ghost Ghost Press coming on, mate? Yeah, Ghost Press is pretty much ready for launch from a technical perspective. All the the main integration is done with uh, the CDN uh, Quick Cloud. I uh, just need to polish things up this week, uh, service emails, stuff like that. Make sure they're all worded right and they're they're you know nicely done. Uh, get backups set up, finished off, and uh, yeah, we'll make a kind of a launch video. I need to make a couple of onboarding videos and a few video guides just about how the system works, how to use it, and stuff like that. So I would I would expect to be able to. Uh, to launch ghost press at some point in the next week probably could have already launched it but i'm i'm super fussy when it comes to this stuff so it's kind of got delayed a few times okay but we're very close uh, for people who don't know what ghost press is would you care to give them a little uh, brief description yeah it's uh basically cutting edge wordpress hosting uh if you're familiar with setting up word uh, uh websites or e-commerce stores uh, wordpress is kind of the go-to these days powers about 43 percent of all online stores and websites on the web right now so ghost press 
gives you the option to uh, set that up and pay with Raptorium, uh, integrate with the cutting edge uh, cloud uh, CDN built just for WordPress. Uh, we also have um, the uh, Raptorium wallet can be used as like a uh, replacement for 2FA, like uh, extra security using the cryptography in the wallet. Uh, we have some pretty cool little features planned. There's uh, self-destructing tickets, kind of something that I've always bugged me about hosting is all the sensitive information passed in tickets. And a lot, a lot of times that information stored plain text in the database. So not only are we encrypting it, but when you open a ticket, you have the option to set a time on it. When the time expires, the ticket self-destructs and it's gone forever. So some cool stuff like that. Awesome stuff. Cheers, Charlie. More work has been done on the uh, third party marketplace with uh, Mancini and Zlatter putting in thousands and thousands of lines of code uh, into making that happen. We're getting closer and closer with the latest work going into the collection showcase and the carousel. Uh, we've got a developer feedback and roasting session coming up. Uh, so we're all, all excited to uh, work together on that and iron out some kinks and, and to see where we can push it. Uh, Sham. Awesome. Sherm, we've got uh, a lot more in the Gigatoshis now, right? Yeah, I think we're up to uh, 60 people in the realm of Gigatoshis now. Six, so 68? Oh, 60, 60. Oh, 60. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 68 tunes. 69 <laughs> even tuner. So what is the realm of the Gigatoshis for those that don't know? Basically, the realm of Gigatoshis is a kind of an exclusive club uh, to get into the uh, the realm. You need to donate uh, at least one RTM to the rain pot for trivia on Mondays and Thursdays. You'll start at night level one. After level 10, you enter the realm of Gigatoshis and you have some uh, nice benefits, you know, some secret channel, a uh, AI bot that you can use for you know, Wizards AI generation with stable diffusion. So you have all those options when you reach the realm. Awesome stuff. And, um... We've got many new additions to the Me6 commands on the Discord as well. Uh, you can test them out by doing an exclamation mark and then maybe somebody's name. <laughs> We've been having quite a lot of fun over that over the last couple of weeks with uh, with that. So uh, especially when you're raining and you're doing phrase rains, it's it's a lot of fun. Uh, so check that out as well. We have created a new channel called Ghost Rider Valley. Uh, and that is a new game that Sagami Game Dev, as his Discord name is, is currently working on. Uh, and that's where he can build and focus on his game and um, iron out some of the kinks and things like that and work with the community on making it as best as it can be. Um, he plans on incorporating uh, Raptorium as a currency into the game soon, which is exciting stuff. So we're more than happy to, uh, to help him out and support him and um, provide a space for him to work. Sherm, we've got some updates on the Raptor Hash pool. Yeah, on Raptor Hash, um, there was an announcement made that uh, the website's going to be going down for about a month. Um, they're doing some real renovations and the stuff on the back end there. And uh, you can still mine to the pool, but they recommend if you do mine to the pool to uh, include a backup pool in your miner config. So if this, my, the uh, web pool does go down, you know, you actually still keep mining. Yep. What are the changes that they're going to be making on there? Do you know? I'm not sure all the details of all the changes, but it seems like they're doing a whole re overhaul of the back end. All right. Okay, Charlie, what else have you been working on, bro? I've been working on, well, for the past four or five months, moving all of our infrastructure away from uh, our old hosting provider, which was UpCloud. A uh, great provider, good performance, but they jacked their prices up just way too much. It doesn't make any sense to stay there. So uh, I've been moving all our stuff away and at the same time, streamlining it, making it more efficient and uh, easier to scale. We learned quite a bit when we had that big spike uh, way back on November was 2021 there and we had the the network got hammered with you know like thousands of new wallets coming on and trying to get the you know blockchain data and stuff and uh so i mean the, the network will scale by itself 
on a big spike like that, but it takes time for it to catch up. So we put a lot of support infrastructure in there to help it and uh, put in load balancers and stuff like that. So when a big spike comes like that, it's going to get spread out a little bit better throughout the network. And it also makes it easier for me to spin up new support nodes if I need and put them behind the balancer. It just takes a few minutes. Uh, also, our old mail server, the old girl's four years old or something I've been working on today. It's time to take it out back and put it out of its misery. Uh, <laughs> it's using an uh, Ubuntu 18. So uh, it's going to be migrated as well over to another provider and at the same time, uh, shiny install of the mail server. And then I'll just migrate all the accounts and the mail and everything over. It's never fun migrating mail servers, but uh, it has to be done. So we'll get her done. Fantastic, Charlie. Okay, this uh, this is the last stream from me for a few weeks as I'll be on holiday and uh, busy and away from PC. Uh, you'll still see me online, still posting and still doing some things, uh, but there'll be no trivia and no streams until I'm back unless someone else on the team uh, would like to rig one. Uh, I may, I may rig some if needed. Well, that'd be great. Uh, please know this also means no AMA stream as well. So we'll do one as soon as I get back. It just means I'm away for the end of the month, for this last Sunday of the month. Um, I just simply don't have the production power uh, or the internet speed to do it on my mobile or my laptop while I'm away. Uh, plus, if I did, then uh, I'll probably get in trouble with the wife. So, <laughs> so it's probably best. Yeah, keep the wife. <laughs> just more important things. Uh, so if, if anyone in the community would like to take uh, one of the trivia nights that we'd normally do uh, and do something the, for the community, then go ahead. Uh, you're more than welcome to. Um, it'd be nice to see something new um, and doing this. Well, for me, doing this every week, well, two trivias a week uh, and this live stream as well, uh, running the marketing team and all the, all the other things as well. You know, it'd be nice uh, to have a little bit of a break and come back fully freshed fully refreshed uh ready ready for you all to with full force you know um there's loads more videos and things coming from h and s uh which i'll schedule out uh for when i'm away um thanks again h and s for your all your efforts it's um much appreciated amazing help for the for the project it's also great to see uh, Raptured back in the community um, and spending some time building some uh, moving artwork and things like that. As you can see on the start of the stream, we did use a few uh, few of the Raptured slides and one from Villain, actually. So thanks to Raptured and Villain. And we are also planning a Let's Kill Twitter event. Uh, where we will be rewarding for Twitter content. Uh, we are planning this uh, after the stream ends and there'll be a new channel, uh, which is invite only, and it will involve posts, replies, and tagging with different rewards paid for however you interact with Twitter and involve the Raptorian project. Um, it will be paid in RTM for those that participate. Uh, you'll be, you will be required to grab uh, your proof uh, in image or link and we will reward obviously based on what the content is the aim of this is to break twitter or or spread rtm twitter all over twitter like butter um, and get new people looking at raptorium while having some fun at the same time with the community uh, so please stay tuned for that and finally uh, from me a big shout out to santos and geckos for stopping into the community recently it was uh, nice to see you guys after such a long break and um, you know be nice to have you back again so uh, do uh, make sure to show show your faces again um sherm how is the uh, discord community what's going on the discord community is doing well you know like you said it was good to see santos and Echoes and some other people who have been gone for a little while come back and say hello and get caught up. But yeah, I mean, everybody's doing well. Everybody's excited for assets. They see the development. Obviously, very, very close now. So, obviously, can't wait. Yeah, certainly exciting. And uh, I'm going to pass the stream now to Mr. Mr. Baguette Nibbler. And he's going to tell us all about the, uh, well, I don't know, what, what you've been working on. <laughs> 
Whoa, I don't know. Or have you been, or have you been lazy? Yeah, no, I, I mean, I mean, everywhere. I'm everywhere. I'm doing a lot of stuff, but yeah, basically, it's. It's. I think the um, we we are. Um, we are pretty happy to see all community members come back to check up on us and uh, check where we are. And uh, we're also explaining, uh, as part of community, is not, uh, is not you know used to project which are bootstrap, not using any VCs and money, uh, which can influence then the project, and then you got the VC getting in and the project and stuff like that. So it's it's um, it's uh, it's interesting to take the time to explain to people how things works when you're bootstrapping and when you're working uh, with the means that we have, you know. So it's uh, it's pretty really interesting. We've been I've been doing it this week and it's sometimes it can hurt feelings, but it's just about saying the truth to people, you know, and uh, and uh, explaining to them that they should be patient because you cannot rush things. Asking for something every day doesn't make it appear quicker. <laughs> you know, it's just at, at the end of the day, we, we are doing the most we can with the power we have. Uh, and uh, everyone in the team is pushing forward. You can be sure of that. Everyone can be sure of that. We are all pushing forward, being the marketing, being the devs, being the co-founders, uh, being the person which is moderating in the in uh, in the Discord. Everyone is pushing with full power that we have. So it's just when you have a, something which is taking time. It's not because we want it to take time. It's just because it needs to take time to be done in the right way. And as we always say, we is not we are not cutting any co any corner on anything we are doing. So we better uh, f make you feel disappointed because it takes two months more or three months three months more, even if it's not a, uh, a feeling we want to give. But if it needs to take three months more, just have to wait it for the three months more that it needs to take to get something done. Because at the end of the day, the thing is pushing out the better code it is. Because when you've pushed out the code and you then you're building on this code, you cannot afford to have a lot of trouble with this code. So, yeah, basically, it's um, working on the community to explain stuff. I guess it's it's need to be explained and done and say how things work when you're doing technical work. And also when it's a project, so you're working on a uh, big uh, mark on the project. And so when you're building, when you're developing stuff, until it's done, it's not done. So I know that uh, uh, expectation has been building, but until expectation is building in one stuff, then doing the actual thing is another stuff. And it's uh, it's uh, it's uh, it's cool to be there when we are uh, soon to see the assets and the transaction decoupling at some points uh, in testnet and everything. But yeah, it's it has been a long run for the community, uh, but I think we still have got our core community behind us, and that's that's cool stuff because we are here. They see that we are pushing commits, that uh, the marketing team is running that uh, Sherm is here every day. Uh, I mean, it's the, the team and the core team is, is here working uh, every day. And uh, we will be seeing soon in uh, three years, if we need to say soon <laughs> in three years. But we're all here to, to make it happen as the best way uh, possible. So yeah, things take time. Yeah, it does take time. But when it gets out, we're not going backward. You know, we're always pushing forward. All the team is pushing forward for RTM. And uh, having a community behind us and pushing forward too, it's, uh, it's, it's a good stuff. But yeah, it requires pa patience, you know. It's like the saying in France, we have a saying which say, Rome, Rome the city Rome as, as, and, and the empire um, wasn't built in one day. 
So it's the same things. Basically, when we have uh, something that needs to be done, it can take three months, it can take six months, it can take nine months, but at the end of the day, it's done and everyone is working on it. So yeah, it's basically what what is happening. Yeah, you know, it's, it's community work. People just at some point can have doubt that when you show that you're working on the long run, even if market condition is not up to what everyone will want, you know, because everyone wants a great market condition, but we don't care about market. We, we have to focus on the product. Then we will see about the market, you know? So guys, just stick up with us. We're pushing forward. Everyone is. And if you, if you're backing us, it's giving us wings as well. So that's why I'm here. Thanks for getting Alejandro, how are you? And what's going on with uh, Spanish marketing? Hi guys, I uh, hope everything is fine with you. Yeah, I'm I'm fine. This week have been difficult for family. Here we have children are not in the school and we the whole family get a flu. So <laughs> we got a flu war here <laughs> all this week. All right. But we are fine. Uh, we are fine in house and in the community very well. Uh, they are all expecting, waiting, buying more notes, getting more Raptorian at good prices, and they are building the smart notes every day. Um, I, I saw um, I saw an idea. One of the groups, I think it was you, Binary, says to push all the information to uh, when when one uh, a smart note get get uh, built on yep. the on the net and go through the network because it's amazing. It's beautiful. When every time you see a smart note coming up, I and mean, in on this uh, kind of market, is very, you feel a satisfaction when you when you see it. Uh, anyway, one way or another, is another uh, smart note on the net, which is very good. Yeah, yeah, um, we we can do that. We've just got to uh, speak with um, Jamadis to get that set up with a separate channel uh, posting through. So that, that is but, yeah. a fantastic idea. Uh, I saw, I saw, I hear that, and I think it's beautiful. Yeah, we are good in the community. Um, I haven't made a videos this week and and got a, all this flu thing, but uh, I'm going to make videos. Um, I'm having new plans now. I still have to do the um, the weekly videos. I still have to keep them on. And it's good. I got busy. People is talking. I see, I saw some new fresh faces on the group, so which is very good on the Spanish group and. Yeah, we got some very uh, uh, powerful guys there on the on the Spanish group now, doing like and and retweet and writing there. They are fantastic there. Uh, I saw them; they are very good. Yeah, they are happy. Awesome happy. stuff. Okay, guys, we're going to head over to the uh, YouTube channel chat now. Uh, so I'm just going to have a scour over there, see if there's any questions for us. We've got roughly five minutes left. Uh, American Cure Dag says working in bear season succeeds in bull season. Exactly, bro. We did push a tweet out, out about that a couple of days ago. You know, uh, we've never stopped. I mean, we like we we've always said we started in a in a bear market. We we worked hard, pushed through in a bull market. Uh, we never stopped working and we went back into a bear market again every single day we kept we kept on relentless working you know you get a few comments here and there uh, from price focused uh, community members uh, but we just ignore it because we know what our goals are and we know where we're, we're traveling to and we know what we've got to do so it's just noise to us and we we're more than confident to plow on with uh, with what we set out to do and, uh, and nothing's going to change that uh so have you got any questions for us on youtube if you've got any questions for us then fire away we are here we will answer anything as long as it's nothing that we can't answer <laughs> all right we'll head over to uh we'll head over to the stream party chat at our discord um hns is saying can you expand on the notion that because apps are made with more programming languages maintenance is going to be far easier and less expensive with rtm than other blockchains charlie well, i'm not really sure uh what he means by maintenance but i mean 
Uh, for the contracts, for having them audited, for writing them, uh, obviously it's going to be much easier and much cheaper because, you know, if you're writing something in Java or Python, which is extremely well known, uh, to have an audit done on that contract is extremely simple because there's a huge pool of auditors and developers that can have a look at that contract. Uh, it's also easier to write uh, automated audits for them on those languages because they're so well known. And, uh, you know, if you don't can't program or whatever and you want to have a smart contract written by somebody, you know, instead of paying three grand, you know, you can pay, you know, a hundred bucks because, uh, the developers, there's so many more developers and uh, obviously a lot more competition uh, on those languages than like Solidity. Solidity being Ethereum and EVM based chains, that is. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Justinus is saying, well, all I can tell about Raptorium, it's unique and there is nothing else like it. Absolutely, pro, exactly. Pepe is saying, uh, small business will need another tool, but the wallet for mint assets like a marketplace or some external platform platforms for minting assets well you'll be able to mint assets uh within the core wallet uh we are also working on a lighter wallet which will connect to the marketplaces and uh external uh areas of the internet uh with the raptorium wallet and code so uh that you'll be able to do from there as well um there will be obviously some marketplaces which are similar to other marketplaces out there where they'll literally just have a form you fill the form in and you mint your assets that way and they'll just connect it with the uh with the the op ids of the assets and things like that but yeah um so we will be doing our uh main iteration at the core wallet and the light wallet um yeah uh it's me ditch me from discord do you know Ditch Me Show? You're muted. You're muted, sir. No, uh, Ditch Me, I'm not sure. No, I don't remember that name either. All right. Okay. Um, Ali Card is saying Has there ever been any attempt of VCs to enter into RTM? Um, we do have a. a vc oriented deck uh that we've created um but we haven't really got any vcs on board for the simple reason um is that they like the project and and things like that but we are not a centralized sort of uh pre-mined project we are fully decentralized we had a fair launch which means no one's got a lot of rtm coins um to give away to people you know and that's this is what the vcs are interested in they're they're interested in you know money for for coins and tokens and that's not what we're about um so right now we've just decided to keep it fully decentralized and plow on forward uh without any help and just deploy it fully organically and properly and i think that really is going to stand the test of time rather than selling ourselves down the way the wayside and bending over backwards to orders from vcs when really we know what the project needs we know what the code needs and and that's the most important thing the v all the vcs care about is is the money behind it and that's not going to help anybody uh so that that's what that's our stance on all that at the moment and you know yeah vcs bring in money and they might bring in big exchanges and things like that but we can do the, those things uh, and we do have goals in place and we do have set, set funds uh, in place that we are stacking uh, every single week to go towards that sort of thing. And we will get there eventually without the VCs and uh, and and by doing that, then uh, we, we feel it's a bit more uh, a bit more fair on the community. We're not we're not taking orders from anyone else and, and we're true to blockchain values and rules uh, just like Bitcoin okay guys um i think that just about rolls it up for the rtm update stream i hope you enjoyed it thank you for joining us if you do want to stick around we do have a crypto smith stream coming up in a few minutes uh we're going to have a couple of minutes interlude uh and then we're going to get crypto smith on here and see uh, see what's going on so uh thanks for joining us guys and stick around for the next stream thanks everybody catch you later